Hey, what's up guys? Nintendo Fanboy456 here recording the video, welcoming you to another unboxing. Today, uh, it's actually like what, November 16th? And today I got a package in the mail. So you guys already know what it is due to the title of the video, like I always say. But it's a little, it's a little Amazon Christmas, little fast free delivery with Prime. Aww. It's not even sponsorship, so this is just free promotion. But yeah, we got an Amazon package here today. You guys obviously know what it is from the title of the video. It could be Pokemon Sword and Shield because that game did come out yesterday. Who maybe knows? But actually, no. This looks like a way bigger box than for a small little game, Pokemon game. So it's definitely not that, obviously. But maybe it could be Pokemon related in some way. So let's open it. By the way, how are you guys? It's been, it's been like what, like a month or something since I did the unboxing on Pichu or something? I don't know, but you guys did, I did actually record my Luigi's Mansion unboxing up here, where I did that whole Let's Play with Kyle, which was a lot of fun, and then, yeah, you guys, I've been doing some vlogs, you know, been getting that out, only got a few, only got like seven more vlogs to do, I actually, no, I did do a vlog yesterday, as in like yesterday, November 15th, I recorded that, I gotta edit that today, and then have, probably have that uploaded tomorrow, this unboxing is probably gonna be uploaded before, yeah, no, this unboxing... Is going to be uploaded before that vlog goes up. So, this unboxing is going to go up today, and then that um, that vlog is going to go up tomorrow. Oh, but look what we have here. Are you guys ready for the grand reveal? Boom, we got one. Ba-boom. We got number two. And then, ba-boom, box goes away, number three. Yeah, we got two Amiibos here. As you can see, we got Krom from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and we got Incineroar from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Also, the Simon Belmont Amiibo did come out. I do have that ordered in the mail. It's coming in through Target. So it should be here like maybe around like Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday. One of those days. So whenever it comes out, I'll do that unboxing. I was going to wait, but then I was like, yeah, it's gonna, I'm, I don't want to wait that long to unbox these. So let me just get these open and I'll just record Simon separately. But anyways, we got Incineroar and we got Krom. Uh, who should I start with? I think I'm going to start with Krom. Oh, these boxes are a little messed up, but um, yeah, we got Krom right here. As you can see, Super Smash Brothers. Krom is actually one of my mains in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I like, I don't know. I just picked him up when Smash Ultimate came out, and I just like, I fucked with his flip, with his play style. He's just a really cool character. He's fast. His moves are agile, and he's just fun to play with. To be honest, like he's really enjoyable. So as you can see, we got the Krom meal right there. Picture beautiful, sexy Krom, and if you guys did not know, fun fact, that Krom is actually Lucina's father in the Fire Emblem Awakening um, game on 3DS. I actually am one of the people who has not played Fire Emblem. I should, I do want to get into it, but it's just, I don't have the time. But I do intend on playing it at some point. As you guys see, you got Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Krom, Smash Bros. Simber picture, Smash Bros. Symbol picture of Krom right here. You got the Amiibo figure right here. Nintendo Amiibo in that red with that new artwork. This is Krom's name in the background. But boom, what we got here? Uh, battle against and alongside your Amiibo and power them up as you play. I cannot believe I read that upside down. Um, you got a picture of Krom Slaw doing the dancing blade move against Ganondorf. Even you guys don't know that is a side B. And then Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And then shows you for 3DS, new 3DS, Nintendo Switch, and not Wii U. Yeah. How fun. But anyways, yeah, let's open him up. Uh, let's see. So, Krom was... I remember that originally when Smash Brother, when Super Smash Bros. 4 was a thing on Wii U and 3DS, people were expecting Krom to be the new Fire Emblem character. Because, you know, usually for tradition in every Super Smash Bros. game, well, before Smash 4 and Ultimate, there would always be two Fire Emblem characters. Like in Melee, there was Marf and Roy. Then in Brawl, there was Marf and Ike. So people were expecting it for it to be Marf, which we always got Marf because he's the one who represents the series. And then usually we have like a new Fire Emblem character that's from the most recent game. So that in that time, it was Fire Emblem Awakening. So people were expecting Krom to come in. But then they pulled a big plot twist and then they revealed that it was Lucina instead. And that it was um, Robin and Krom wasn't even in the game. But then people were probably upset and upset. So when Smash Ultimate came around, they probably were like, okay, we're going to add Krom as an echo of Roy just to make the fans happy. And look at that. Actually, we did pretty good on that. We got the Krom Amiibo card perfectly. No damage right there. And then we got the, we're going to take out, we're going to take out Krom right here. Let's pop this boy out. 
Mm. I am just, I have so many amiibo. I'm running out of space, man. Like, I am just, but I love the collecting of the amiibo. Garbage. Go. Actually, no, this this could be useful. Right, here we go. We have Chrom right here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow, actually very cool amiibo. Yeah, look at him. He's got, he looks pretty dope. Uh, I would say, like, look at his, the way his cape is right here. Like, I, I, like, I like the way his cape is. Like, that's pretty dope. He's got his little boot things for his feet he's got his sword his right here and on the back of his cape he's got his fire emblem right there no pun intended actually completely pun intended um he's got his blue hair like every other fire emblem character in the history of the universe he's got his sword holder he's got his, his design his robe and everything and he's pretty much that's it it's crumb he's got his muscles and his thing right there uh, I don't know what else much to say about him because I don't really know much about Fire Emblem, but Krom is a pretty cool character, and he is one of my mains, so I, I am looking forward to training this amiibo. Krom is going to be a beast once I am done training him. So yeah, I'm going to put, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have, we'll put you there with your card and your amiibo right there. Take a look at the next amiibo of the bunch. We got Incineroar, and I told you it wasn't going to be Pokemon Sword and Shield, but I said it could be Pokemon related, and we, he is a Pokemon, so it makes sense. Okay, so now, anyways, we got Incineroar right here. He was actually the last newcomer to be announced for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. After that, it was like, he was the last character they revealed. It, I remember it was a fighting trailer with him and Ken in the Smash Bros. Direct, and they revealed that, that, that the final roster has been revealed, and that, you know, that now they're going to, then they're still going to do DLC, but for the default roster within the final game, that, that Incineroar was the last one. So everybody was like, oh, shoot, people didn't think that he should have been the last one announced, which uh, I guess I can see why I can kind of agree on that. I can see why, because about that, if people were hyped for him. I wanted Incineroar. Incineroar was, it's funny because um every time a new starter Pokemon gets into a Super Smash Bros. game, it always ends up being the starter that I end up picking. Like, for example, in um, Smash Bros. 4, when they announced Greninja, I had a heart attack. Greninja was from X and Y, and I picked Greninja as my starter, and I grew Fro I picked Froki to Frogadier to Greninja, and then in Pokemon Sun and Moon, which I really love, great game, by the way, I picked Litten, and then I got Torakat, and then Incineroar. And then when they announced Incineroar, I was like, oh my god, like, this is so cool. Like, I love the, I love it when they add the Pokemon that I end up picking in the games, you know? But anyways, enough of my rambling. Here we got Incineroar. Look, he looks like a badass. Even though he has a horrible recovery. We got a beautiful picture of Incineroar. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Incineroar. What is his name in Spanish? Feinferno. Feinferno. And we got the figure right here. Nintendo Amiibo. It's gonna, it looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Battle against and alongside your Amiibo. and power them up as they as you play. Nintendo 3DS, new 3DS, Nintendo Switch. A picture of Incinera. Oh, knocking the crap out of Falcon. I'm about to say Falcon Falco. That sucks. That sucks to be him. Then you got the figure right there. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And then all the information about bullshit. All right. So now we're going to open Incinera. Crown, I'm going to let you go over here. And then you move that stuff. Because I got to open this little pussycat. Oh, there we go. Open him up. Now, Incineroar, he's actually a really cool Pokemon because he's... Sakurai said, like... I remember Masahiro Sakurai was talking about how he was really excited to include Incineroar because he always wanted to have, like, a boxing, like, a wrestling-type character in Super Smash Bros. And he said Incineroar was the guy. And people were hoping that it was going to be Decidueye. Uh, nah. I'm, I, was, I'm, I'm always, I was always Team Incineroar. Like... All the way. Incineroar was my starter, so of course I'm going to be Team Incineroar. Like, it's not even a question. If I can get this thing open, Jesus Christ. We are working, don't worry. We're working, we're working hard to get him open. Perfectly, hopefully. And he is, yo, he is fighting me right now. I don't, I don't know why I'm struggling. This shouldn't even be that hard. Oh my god, I fucked up. Nope. Uh, I'm not gonna lie with you guys, I'm a little disappointed in myself right now. 
Uh, I fucked up big time. Uh, I don't know if you see that. That's a big problem. I'm very disappointed in myself. Damn. But you know what? Anyways, you got the amiibo card right there. Boom. Let's get out in Cinnor. Let's take a look at him. Let's put him in the spotlight. Let's see what he is all about. I'm sorry, Incineroar. Please don't side beam me. And yo, here we go. Here we have Incineroar right here. Look at him. Looking cool. He's the cool cat in the house. Like, check him out. Like I said, Incineroar was already a really cool design for his starter. So this is definitely a really cool amiibo in my opinion. Uh, like, it's really, really dope. Like, you guys, like, I like how his little thing is, like, shiny to where it's, like, kind of almost translucent where you can kind of see through it, the fire belt. Which is really cool because the fire kind of, like, represents, like, he's the champion, his champion belt. You know, and then he's got his claws coming out. And you look at his cool face. Like, this is a really cool Pokemon. Like, it was, like, really cool. So, his design is definitely, like, really good. And then we got his back over here. Like, it looks like he has fur, but it's really not fur. Like, it's just the material that makes it look like fur. And then you got this little stand in the back that's going up his, that's connecting to his spine. Uh, you know, it's a stand. What can I say? Uh, it's, it is what it is. It's there. It's part of the amiibo. I gotta, you gotta accept it. But besides that, he looks, he looks really good, honestly. Like, he's a really cool amiibo. Really cool Pokemon in general. So, like, I'm just so glad that this amiibo finally came out. I was waiting for the Incineroar amiibo to come out. And then we got Simon Belmont, who's coming out on who's coming on who should be coming in the mail on monday tuesday or wednesday and then the next set of a super smash Bros. ultimate amiibo we will be getting is dark samus and richter so those should be the new ones coming out i'm still missing pokemon trainer and isabel so i need to get those i don't know when i'll get those but whenever i do get those you guys know do expect to see an unboxing what's funny that was the first time i actually did not get a perfect amiibo card in like a really long time if you guys have seen my unboxings I've been killing it with the Amiibo cards, but sadly it is what it is, but we got two awesome Amiibo right here, Incineroar and Chrom, and now you know what that means, guys. Let's go ahead and register them in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Alright guys, so we are in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and we are going to register Incineroar and Chrom. so let's do this, let's go to games and more. We're gonna go, actually this is really loud. Uh, we're gonna go to all the way to uh, Amiibo. We're gonna register Incineroar and Chrom. Let's do this. Uh, first off, we're gonna start off with Chrom. I'm gonna put Chrom on, let's go. We're gonna select who the owner is and of course it is me. Oh, what am I gonna name him? Uh, so I decided since his name is Chrom, I'm gonna name him based after the web browser, Google Chrome. I think that I think it's cool, I think it's unique. Let's go. Yes, welcome Chrome. Now we're gonna save him. Boom. That's how that's how we roll. Look at that Chrome. What skin do I want? Uh I like your regular skin, so I'm gonna keep that. Boom. And then there we go. There's Chrome. All right, there we go. We're gonna send. We're now we're gonna put you away because I am not training you yet. I am not training you yet. And then now we're gonna do Incineroar. You ready, buddy? Uh, okay. Nickname. Okay, this one might have seemed obvious, but you know, I just couldn't. I just had to. I had to name him Tony the Tiger because he looks so similar. Like it just. I couldn't avoid it. And also, I love Frosted Flakes, so I had to. Let's go, Tony. You guys are in the cat family. And then there we go. Now we have Incineroar. Registered. Uh, ooh, what skin do I want for you? Ooh. Actually, I like your regular skin. I'm gonna go with that. And Incineroar is registered. Look at that. Boom, guys. Incineroar. Alright, guys, so I'm gonna save him. Let's put him away. And then that's it. We're done. Guys, we are done. So if you guys did enjoy this 
unboxing please let me know comment like subscribe stay tuned for more videos walkthroughs updates more vlogs are on the way i will be doing an unboxing of the simon amiibo within the next few days so just watch stay out for that and until next time my beautiful people i'll see you